Are you ready? Very well. Now please, close your eyes. So it's you. Our time spent with one another is precious. Oh. How long has this rain been ongoing? If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades, or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully, we've guided those lost souls to their lives beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they won't be reduced to puppets of the Nihility in their death. You see, the shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But it's still. I know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans, and for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves, sin thirsters, the obsessions of the path striders. They emerge from the depths of Ix seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh, so this is how it is. I'm already dead. Yes. Are you watching over me? This is my duty, as Acheron the Watcher. I'm guarding the path to the Abyss of the Nihility, guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. But if this is what the Departed Ones expected, should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all? Some tasks have to be done. Even if they are pointless, I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Will I See them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm, your narrow escape from death, and your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. And Penicone. The hometown to which you could never return. Yeah. 
for countless times. I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Mikhail, are you still there? Take my hand and come with me. We will leave this place. You'll embark on a long, long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not, as a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's the color of existence. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so, you'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Welcome to the horizon of existence. This place is one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless. And it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Always distinguish between reality and imagination. All right, Gray? Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our soul companions. May your schemes be forever concealed. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. To the imperfect tomorrow. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet, but we are about to awaken from this dream. Or perhaps such is the answer itself. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from this dream. As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. So the answer is when they are in desperate situations, like a drowning individual in the deep sea, when one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair will follow. I firmly believe that the fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks, but in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves and now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance. As for now, it is time to guide them, not as a savior, but as a nameless among those mortals. In this way, you will reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. The rain is intensifying. Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few final questions. So far, 
you have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Might I ask if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? If there is a vast, lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality, a realm without death, where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve, living blissfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. Now I come to think you exist in the nihility, and you watch over others to depart it. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task, Even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. Uh, what hardships you must have experienced. In that case, allow me to do something you must do. Please, tell me what perhaps... My existence will vanish in the next moment, and nobody will remember this conversation or your answer. But I believe that your name should be remembered, and this universe will remember it as well. For me, some things are difficult to recall, yet there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory, a creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey, the origin of the vibrant red hue in my life, and the most fervent element amidst every That's my name, Raiden Ozen Mori. May. The Golden Dream is getting restless. 
In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Still water noise. Again. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. Keep up with me. Listen up. Noisy. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> no <laughs> All things are part of the melody. Bloom. Don't worry, it's just... The dreamscape is indistinguishable from reality. Can it still be called an illusion? 
Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. That's half the work. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Receive divinity. Don't worry. It's Repress. just a script. <laughs> Keep up with me. Wake up. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Another journey begins. Just for oblivion. I'll take the lead. Stand still. So, why does life slumber? Because someday. We will wake up from our dreams. <sighs> the night is still too short. <laughs> Brother, the dream is over. In the first year of the AE-2158, a fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams, but soon faded in chaos and destruction. Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours, when a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse, a paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for eternal separation. And so, an eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe, it was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn, a tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon, the chant of everything for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the torrent eagles, Looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Pentacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. 
even after the stars perish. Their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise, and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet! Pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So is Diamond planning to demote me? Or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P-46? All right. What will you wager? Are we talking about a real bet here? <laughs> I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. But, if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Interesting. But, since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Penacony. 
Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you, as soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Oh, so many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? Hmm. <sighs> 